Well, good Sunday morning. Sundays are my animal cage cleaning days. So, I'm making up some nice essential oil and water spray to treat my chickens' nesting boxes with and spray around the corners and the floors and the ceilings a little bit. I don't use essential oils directly on my chickens. Um, it's a volatile oil. It's really, really strong. Some people do. Nothing wrong with that. If that works for you, that's fine. I don't really want to put that volatile oil directly on my girls. So I spray it around inside their hen house on deep cleaning days. So I'm just going to use a little spray bottle. And I could choose any strong scented, really strong um, essential oil that insects would have an aversion to. But since I have a lot of lemongrass outside I haven't used yet, I'm going to go ahead and use lemongrass in their water and fresh lemongrass in their nesting boxes. So let's do that. This part of their pen gets cleaned every night. After I put the girls up, I go in, I have a rake right next to their door, and I pull everything out every night. Otherwise, they get that spilled corn, wet corn mash smell going on. I can't stand. And then I throw down pine, usually shaved pine, because I find it very absorbent and it absorbs all their poo during the day. Now these big green piles you're seeing, my bunny's alfalfa pellets got wet, so I just threw that in there, but they'll scratch around in it. They won't, they don't really like it much. Um, but it just gives them something to scratch in and it draws insects and then the girls get to scratch around and eat the insects, but you can see where their water's hanging now. It stays nice and clear. And I've got them busy out here because I'm about to go inside and clean the inside of their coop. Don't they look healthy and pretty? Thankfully, I have five girls left. One must be inside. Oh, there she is. That's my broody hen right there. So, one of my girls left me an egg. <clears throat> their straw looks really, really good. So I think I might just throw this straw on the ground um, after I scrape out the bottom straw. It's down here. It's got all the poo in it. And I'll probably reuse this straw. It's still really dry and looks really good for nesting. So I'm going to clean out these boxes, spray it down with that spray that I made up. It's just water and lemongrass uh, essential oil. And then I'm going to layer the bottom of their box with lemongrass. Now lemongrass you can find that anywhere in when in the spring when you go to your flower shops and gardening supplies. Um, if not, you can order it online. It grows huge. You got to be careful handling it though. It's kind of like a cut grass. It's really rough and it will kind of cut your hands. Um, I just uh, am just careful when I handle it. And um, I kind of smack it on my leg after I cut it to get those oils flowing. <clears throat> And then I'm just going to sprinkle a layer of that in the bottom of their nesting box and collect up my morning egg. This is a good time to check for really outrageous spider webs. I don't pull down all the spider webs I see because spiders eat stinging insects. And so if it's a spider that I feel like I can handle, like there's a little web up here in the corner and it's definitely not a black widow. It's not chaotic enough for a black widow, but it's not a black widow, so I'm going to let that spider stay. And just because I would rather see spiders than I would stinging insects. Wasp and I do not get along. So this is a good time to check for any snake holes, anything that's trying to burrow and get in here. Uh, leaks in my ceiling, as you can see. Haven't got my tar paper up on top yet, so I'm getting some water down in here that's going to cause mold so i've got to get busy on that tar paper and the girls are in here helping me even though i gave them ba leftover bacon this morning they still want to see what's up when it comes to their nesting box i like to get it all the way down to that screen that i put in that keeps their eggs from rolling uh through the back um and then i'm going to spray it down with their spray 
because this is where their no seams would normally be. You know what I mean? Like the things that can get in there and start irritating your hens. And then I just spray everything down in this area, everything with my whatever oil I'm using that day. Get it? It actually smells really good in here. And then, oh my God, that smells so good. And then I just sprinkle my lemongrass and it's not gonna hurt my hens to eat the lemongrass. If they, can, if they find it and get to it, that lemongrass isn't gonna hurt them one bit. It's just another layer of nature. If I could grow enough lemongrass, I wouldn't even need the volatile oils probably. But I do like to spray it on their floor too, just because. I mean, this is where I get my eggs, right? And I'm gonna eat them. And I want this to be as clean and insect free as possible. So I do go that extra step and I take care of my girls' nesting boxes really, really well. And then my nesting boxes get um, a nice thin layer of absorbent shredded pine. That just helps keep everything nice and dry up here. And then that straw that's on the floor is still nice and clean. I just added that a couple days ago, so that's going to go back up in here. And that's it. That's how I do my hen house. And I'll throw the same thing on the floor. I'll just throw a nice absorbent layer of pine. I don't usually add straw because the girls will end up knocking their straw out of the nesting boxes and that ends up on their floor. And they have plenty of shredded pine down here for absorbency. So that is how I take care of my hens. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Happy egging. Blessed be. Broody wanted to say hello. <laughs> Hi, Broody. Yeah, she's the one with ruffled feathers because she's always trying to hatch an egg that's never going to hatch. She's my Broody girl. She's always up in these nesting boxes. She's such a good girl.